What's up? What's up? Me. That's what's up. Look at me. I'm huge. I'm an apatosaurus, and I'm not lying when I tell you that I'm 23 meters long from nose to tail. Like a 10-story building is tall. Excuse me, they told me an apatosaurus was down here, and I'm really hungry. Nope, not around here. Maybe over there. What are you doing? What does it look like I'm doing? I'm being a tree, because that's what I am. And I'm made of wood. I taste awful. Okay, you kind of look like an apatosaurus, though. Nope, I'm a tree. Well, yell if you see one, okay? Yeah, like I'm going to tell Mr. Bottomless Pit over there anything. Walk with me. My fossil was found in what is now known as the United States of America. I am a seropod, which basically means we walk the lizard walk. We can't help it. It's the way our legs are placed on our bodies. Hell you. But, uh... Hey, aren't you that tree from before? Nope. I'm a hill. Just a hill. I should tell you, the word Apatosaurus means deceptive religion. We're always playing tricks. <laughs> I'm Panopolosaurus. That's pan o plo -saurus. I wonder if you can guess what my name means. <laughs> Welcome to our game show. Guess the meaning of my name. Clue number one. I live here in the late Cretaceous period, 74 million years ago. Uh, no guesses? Hmm. Okay. I'm from the family of dinos called Ankylosauria. That means I have body armor. Uh, I have a stiff, clubless tail, and look at all my spikes. I'm built like an armored truck. Any ideas? Uh, square root of four. Uh, uh, divide by eight. Hmm. Pie. This is an easy clue. I'm the same size as a dump truck. And I weigh three and a half metric tons. The same as an elephant. Of course, all of this armor is to protect me from meat eaters like these two T-Rexes. Okay. This is the last clue, and then you'll have to answer. I live in what is now Alberta, Canada. So can you guess what my name means? Does it mean delicious? No. Panoplosaurus means totally armored lizard. Look at all the armor on me. Sheesh. Do I win something? No. Hey, play nice. I gave you easy clues. Oh, well. See you next time. <laughs> Velociraptor. Yes, the famous Velociraptor. The Lossa Raptor. It means speedy thief. See my long tail? It lets me run really fast. <sighs> but not for too long. Didn't know I had feathers, huh? I need them to keep me warm. Because, well, 85 million years ago, it sometimes got pretty cold around here. And where is here? It's what is now known as Northern China. I'm not very big either. If you compare me to my cousins like the T-Rex, but like them, I'm a meat eater and I walk on two legs. But I'm just about the size of a big turkey. <laughs> I hunt in a pack. In fact, this whole time my pack has been watching us. Eva! Shh. <laughs> uh, nothing. 
nothing like spending a day playing with your friends. Eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. Bye. <laughs> Hi, hi. I'm Zuni Ceratops. You say it Zuni Ceratops. My name means Zuni Horned Head. And my eyebrow horns come in handy, especially since I have an itch in the middle of my back where I just can't reach. Ah! Ah! This is my home here in the Middle Cretaceous period, 90 million years ago. See? My fossils were found in what's now known as New Mexico. A tribe of Native Americans lived here called the Zuni. Zuni, Zuniceratops. I'm the first ceratopsian. That means dinosaur who likes to eat plants that has eyebrow horns. And I have another horn. See? At the tip of my nose. I'm not very big, just about the size of a cow. Ooh, so itchy. Wait, I know. Could you please scratch my back? A little to the left, lower. Yes, that's the best thing about being in a herd. You always get a helping head. Bye for now. Oh yeah, welcome to the late Cretaceous period 70 million years ago. I'm a Gorgosaurus. That's Gorgosaurus. Mom? Now, they're gonna think I'm just a kid. I can't wait till I get big. I'm going to be even scarier than my mom over there. Rawr! Cause that's what my name means, fearsome lizard. I'm not as tall as she is yet, but one day I'll be nine meters long. I'll be as long as a house. Gorgosaurus like me, Tyrannosaurus? Phew, that's a big word, but it has to be big just like us. Imagine, we're in the same dino family with T-Rex. See all the sharp teeth? We're meat eaters, and our teeth help us chew even the toughest meat. I'm from what is now known as Alberta, Canada. So when I get fully grown, watch out. If you want to get big, you have to eat a good meal. And I've already called you for lunch four times. Yes, Mom. Gotta go eat. See you later. Ah, you have come to the late Jurassic period in search of the great and powerful Compsonathus. That's Compsonathus. It's very easy if you practice. Ow! Hey, Bavariosaurus! Did you hear what they're saying about me? I am the number one land predator in these islands in the death of sea. It's true! No dinosaur gets past me. Why, well, see these legs? They're long and slender, which helps me to run very, very fast. You are so full of hot air. I'm surprised you don't float away. Do you dare insult me, the mighty Gomsonathus? I can eat any lizard, dinosaur, or fish I want. Any one. I was the first complete dinosaur fossil that scientists could study. You, you see? see? Again, Again, I was I first. Was first. Num -num Number one. one. Bring in the size chart. Okay, so I'm on the small side. So what? I'm still number one. 
Excuse me while I go and show our friend why I'm number one. Oh, you think I cannot climb? Well, you are wrong. My bones, they're hollow like a bird's, which means I'm light. And, oh yeah, see this tail? It'll help me stay balanced. You can run, but you can't hide because I am the magnificent Compsonathus! Smilodon! You're staying away from the tar pit, right? Okay, Mom. That's Smilodon. It means knife tooth. Welcome to the Ice Age, a million years ago, and to my tar pits. The dinosaurs have all along vanished. Mammals like me are all over the place. Stop! You can't go this way! Don't get mad at me! You should know that I am a little bit smaller than a lion. But there are some differences between us. Like I'm much, much heavier. And of course, my choppers are huge. Oh yeah, I'm built for ambush hunting. What the? Ugh, you've got to be kidding me. A puddle car? All kinds of animals wander into the tar pits and get trapped. But not me because... Because your mother told you not to go near them, right? Thousands of Smilodon fossils have been found in tar pits in what is now known as North America. In California, we're the state fossil. Don't forget to wash behind your ears. I hate taking baths. Well, maybe you should stay out of the tar pits and you won't have to have so many. Sorry about that. I thought that he might be hiding in there. Oh, by the way, I'm Mega Raptor. That's Mega Raptor. You may have noticed that I'm in a bit of a rush, so I haven't got a whole lot of time to chat. Aha! Uh -huh. Hey, wait a sec! Come back here! I'm as tall as a diving board. Um, excuse me. I'm wondering if you can help me with something. It's Mother's Day, and I have no idea what to get my mum. Do you have any ideas? A bag of nuts! That would be a great idea. But nope, she hates nuts. We're carnivores and we don't eat plants. That's a great idea! Happy Mother's Day, Mom! Oh, where'd it go? Aha! Found it! How's it going, eh? And welcome to the late Cretaceous period, 70 million years ago. I'm Edmontosaurus. That's Edmontosaurus, eh? I just found the puck so I can keep playing dino hockey with my pal, Eddie. Do you know where I got my name from? It's pretty cool. I was named after the city Edmonton, which is in what's now Alberta in Canada, where I'm from. Check it out, eh? My hands were made for pitching and catching. Eddie and I are practicing before the big game with the rest of our herd. Eh? Oh, yeah. I'm the kind of dinosaur that can walk on two legs to get those really hard to reach leaves on trees. And four legs when I'm chasing Eddie. Do you see how long we are? As long as a sailboat. But we're pretty heavy, almost four tons. You're probably
probably wondering how I could eat with a duck bill, eh? Well, I have up to 60 rows of teeth in my cheeks, eh? Our teeth allow us to eat the hardest seeds and conifer needles with no trouble at all. Ugh, I don't eat meat. Only plants go in this mouth. I better get back to practicing. Hugesaurus. Have a good one, eh? Have no fear, have no fear. The king of the dinosaurs is here. That would be me. Tyrannosaurus Rex, which actually means Tyrant Lizard King. And, well, that's me. <laughs> and did you know that a full-grown T-Rex, like myself, ta-da, is more than 12 meters in length. That's longer than a school bus. And when I stand up to my full height, I'm taller than a double-decker bus. The Tyrannosaurus Rexes weigh more than seven tons, you know. And I have the most beautiful teeth. Would you like to see them? Most vegetable-eating dinosaurs have small, bumpy teeth for chewing and grinding leaves and plants. But, well, you see, I am a carnivore. Uh, that means meat eater, uh, yum, 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 yum. And my teeth are perfect for, well, there's simply no other way to put this, for eating other dinosaurs. And the best part is once my teeth get a little worn down, they're automatically replaced. It really is a tremendous honor being king of the dinosaurs. 65 million years ago, we T-Rexes ruled the world, especially these parts of North America. Here. Yeah. Well, I'd simply love to stay and chat with you all some more, but you see, my subjects need me, and I need them, because it's lunchtime! Oh dear. <laughs> well, hello there. I'm Sinosopterex. That's Sinosopterex. It means Chinese lizard wing. On account of the fact that I'm from China. And I am one of the first bird-like dinosaurs from 130 million years ago. My arms are covered with the neat little feathers. Whoa! Oh, but I can't fly. The feathers are just there to keep me warm. However, I can run really, really fast with my powerful legs. Hey, what are you doing? It's super cool. All you have to do is tuck and you slide all the way down. Eh, it's awfully far down. And though I may not be very big, I'm all carnivore. Mmm, meat. Come on, let's go! Um, uh, don't rush! Me! Oops! <laughs> oh well, I have the longest tail of any theropod dino. Sometimes it gets in the way. Cool! Yeah! Well, it's my turn now. See you later! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo! Oh! Hello! And welcome to the late Jurassic period! I'm Ultrasaurus! Ultra cool! Ultra special! Ultra big! It's easy to say my name. Ultra Saurus. Hey, Allosaurus. Should I have an audience? Ultra Saurus. He is the one. Ultra Saurus. That's me. When you think of the biggest dino ever, think of me. I'm so big. Hey, how big are you? I'm so big. That when I sit around the pond, I really sit around the pond. <laughs> ha cha 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 cha. Ultrasaurus, he's the one. 
I'm a herbivore, so I eat lots and lots of plants. Lots. I have to to get this big. He's as big as a bus, folks. Actually, I'm bigger than a bus, Al. I'm as tall as a three-story building. Next floor, socks. But some people think I'm not an Ultrasaurus. They think I'm really just a huge Brachiosaurus, since we look alike. Uh, no, you're Ultrasaurus. You're the one. I'm from what is now known as Colorado, USA. What's the weather like up there? So you want to have a look? Uh, yeah, I'd love to. Going up. E. Oh. That's too bad. I, I was just about to show him where his house was. 